video tutorial. Tutorial. Navigating Website Builder menu. Reviewing the menu options within the Site Builder. Okay. We've gone to www.marketingpie.com. We've entered in our customer number and password. We've accessed the Website Builder tab. Such. We've located the domain name that's associated with our website builder. We've clicked launch. That opens up a new window into our website dashboard. From there we click design your pages. You can also click the main image there. That opens up the website builder and shows you the front page of your website. It has different levels of menu options at the top as well as down into the content. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the top menu options. In this, we have popular. Under popular, we have content block. These are content blocks. There's a mouse over them. If you needed to add a new one, you click content block and it will add your new content block wherever you put it. You can grab it and move it someplace else if you want to. They are mobile. Just mouse over it, find the little directional tool, grab onto that, and move it around. The next tab or the next icon is image. If you need to add an image to your website, you simply click image. You have my lot, my images. These are images that have been uploaded to your website. You click on whatever image you want to add and click OK. The next tab is image gallery. An image gallery is a, basically what it says. It's a photo gallery. So it's more than one photo. So what we would do is go to your My Images. We would find the images that you wanted to have in this gallery. Click on those. Click OK. If you need to rename those within the gallery, you can. You can say settings for that gallery, you would determine how many columns and how many rows for that gallery, whether you want the images to be squared off, portrait or landscape. Squared off makes a nice neat um, photo gallery and then you can even preview it. Those are the photos that are in the gallery. Once you hit OK, still add new images by going to edit image gallery and then you can add more images to it if you want to. Um, if you if you need to get rid of it you can just click delete box. Video pretty much the same way. Columns. Columns is a new tool that they've added that allows you to control the column layouts on your site. So you click Columns, drag and drop, and you can have a two-column format, three-column format, all the way up to a five-column format. And then each one of these would be individual content boxes that you can enter in content. If you needed to throw away the whole thing, trash. Are you sure? Once you do this, um, it, you cannot undo it. Contact form, 
contact form. Allows you to have um, information for collecting uh, data about visitors. Um, they would enter in their information here and send, and it would go to a specific email address that you specify. Files. Files, if you use this function for files instead of the other way, instead of another way that I'll show you, if you use this function, it will just put the file on your page with a little um, document icon. I recommend doing it a different way. Um, and then script. Script is actually the language or the actual scripting for the site, and I don't recommend that you do anything with that. Above that, you can see several different icons as well. Media, social, apps, tables and forms, pages, styles, and mobile. The one that you'll use most often are, is popular, pages, styles, and to, to review your mobile site, you just click mobile, and if you have a 10 page or a 999 page package, you actually have a mobile uh, website editor that you can go in and customize how your mobile site will look. Uh, as a default, it will uh, intuitively select different things to make your uh, mobile site um, for you that is synced up with your normal site. And for this one, this is the way it looks. And it's fully interactive. So under pages, this is where you would add a page. So if you needed to add a page to your website, also navigation, if you needed to control navigation, if you wanted to change the order of your pages, if you wanted, you just grab onto that page and move it to wherever you want to, to move it. If you needed to add a new page, simply click Add Navigation, come over here, choose the page that you want to add, Information, Information, and then hit Apply. If you want to take a page out completely, just click the Delete button next to the page, and that page will be deleted. After you've done this, you can um, change how certain pages, um, if you just wanted to have another word as far as your navigation title, you can do that. If you also wanted to link to something else, if you wanted a page on your site to link to a different website, you could link that page to a URL, which is a w another website. You could link it to uh, an email address. Just make sure that you click this open a new window so that it doesn't disrupt the flow of your, of your uh, current site. Once you're satisfied with the changes that you've made, you can hit apply and OK. And those changes will occur in your menu right here. So as I, you can see, I still have a contact information for two. So let's go back to the menu and delete that one and say OK. And now it's gone. You can add a site, uh, site, site map to your website, which should have already been done. Um, you can preview a page or you can preview the entire site. Preview of the entire site will show you what the website looks like after it will be published. This is interactive. You can sc scroll through each individual page. You can also see what the mobile version will look like once it's published. Out of the preview, just click it opens up into a new window, so just click out of that window and you're back to the navigator or to the, the website builder. In the
next video, we'll go over content boxes.